you know, you are now entering into the service of the government. And there are a few things you must understand uh, why it works this way and not that way. Alamo, uh, I run on a platform of no graft, less crime, suppress uh, the drug problem, which has gotten out of hand, or is this getting out of hand still, but uh, we've been able to minimize at least the crime on the streets to the barest minimum. I do not promise you perfect peace because this is not heaven, but I commit myself to do everything not to compromise the next generation. If we have the numbers of three, as Pedea said three years ago when I was the, uh, the president of the Philippines, and if you will just put it at a very liberal incremental increase, that's about the 700,000 that have surrendered and sought uh, rehabilitation. That number is staggering and it scares you. Because if I do not interdict this problem now, I am not pulling my own chair, but I would say nobody can do it if you just look at the horizon of politicians. There about. Walang makakaya nito kung ang susunod na presidente, yun lang rin nakikita ninyo at rin ang tatakbo. You are in hellhole ka dyan. So, tingin ko, since wala naman akong ambisyon maging barangay captain uli, I'm the president uh, without re-election. I might as well just do it my way. Bahala na sila. But uh, kayong sa gobyerno, uh, I appointed you, then you must understand how it is to me. Alam mo, isa lang ang bayan ko. And uh, for all of my... Ako pa yung pinili ng Diyos na maging presidente itong tapos na election. I do not claim any greatness. I do not have special credentials. As a matter of fact, hindi ko kayo pinapatawa, it took me seven years to finish high school. And, no, I, I just... Uh, until my father died and the cold realization that life's getting to be dangerous for me. And that was the time that I was able to... Now, I am a grandson of a Moro Maranao lady. Ang lola ko, Chinese. Ang uh, lola ko, Maranao, lolo ko, Chinese. Tatay ko talagang Cebuano. And uh, since we trace our lineage in accordance with my father's, ang sinasabi ko pag tinatanong niya ako, ano ka, Bisaya? But look, I've never stayed in the Visayas even for the day. Ang ano ko lang dito is, uh, yung, nakita mo yung si speech ko, I will fight crime, drugs, and corruption, I did not include, mind you, if you still remember, the Mindanao issue in relation to public order and safety. Kasi nandiyan na. So, as a matter of fact, one of the strongest reasons that impelled me to run was nobody, even just for a, 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 a statement na ano, but to be talking about Mindanao. And Mindanao would never heal. Ako, pinadalang ko ng dagdag ng ano, but it is really masakit sa akin to kill a Moro or to kill a Filipino for that matter. Kaya I sought early to have peace with the communists. We are talking maybe 
in the fullness of God's time, we will succeed. We have connected with the MI. They are talking as a matter of fact. They are helping us in the war against drugs. By the way, I did not say that I'm going to just pursue and prosecute. I declared war sa droga kasi hindi ito madala ng police-polisan lang. So I raised that to the level of a national security threat, which is really is, and called upon the army and the military to assist. Now, them I is assisting us. We should be thankful for that. Uh, ngayon, nandito naman yung uh, sinur. Well, no, no, no blows hot and cold, but uh, apparently he has lost control of some of the factions there. For example, yung Abu Sayyaf is no longer. So I have to navigate the stormy waters of that area there where I can find a formula. Bakit galit? Well, in 1521, when Magellan landed in Leyte, Mindanao was already 100% Islam. We were part of the Sri Visayas uh, Empire of the Malay race. Kaya lang, we revered the leader there, not by really the force of arms, but the blood. Nung dumating ang Espanyol, pinilit nila ang kunin ang Mindanao. And they knew that there were already Islam people there. Lahat Islam na, one by 100 years ahead. Ngayon gusto pinilit nila, and there were massacres. Then came the Americans, because of the Spanish-American War, the Spaniards lost, and one of the concessions that were see, given to the Americans by the Spaniards was to cede the Marianas, Guam, kaya mga pangalan na yan, Pilipino, and the Philippines to include Mindanao. Mindanao resisted the Spaniards because they bought with them the religion, Christianity. Then they bought uh, the people there. Then they, they enlist their canons for those who did not obey. And so Visayas, with a sprinkling of a more, few more settlements, surrendered hanggang Manila. But Mindanao, because of its contiguous, hindi bang kalatagay ng Visaya, so walang tapkoncho, Mindanao stood on what was really the rallying point there. Islam. So ngayon, I have, I have to face the Muslim secessionist threat. I have to deal with the communists. I have to deal with the Abu Sayyaf, and that's going to be a problem. Now, why, despite or in spite the passage of so many illustrious leaders, sila pindato noon, sila si many others, bakit? Bakit maharap? Why does, despite of the billions poured by Marcos noon, Hanggang, titignan mo dyan sa public works office. Kung lahat na ibuhos doon talagang totoo yung mga appropriations yun, amount to be millions, the highways of Basilan would have crisscrossed already. Pag idugtong-dugtong mo, abot na na ng Mindanao Island yan. Why? Why is there not really no desire to just get the money and spend it? either wastefully or pocketed. Ganun naman lahat na politiko, not only the moro. Ngayon yung mga congressional uh, ano dyan, insertions. Why? Can I have the uh, science bomb? <coughs> Hindi ako naging intriga sa inyo. Ang akin lang kasi ang Amerika napaka-hipokrito. They, they know 
actually know that I have a serious problem here. Three million plus for the Philippines, four million for Widodo of Indonesia. So we discussed this problem. Paano ito address? Nakikriss-cross ang droga dito sa atin. Not only that, the Jema Islamiya sometimes visit us here, paputokin kami. Sometimes naman sa inyo, dyan sa downtown mismo, nagratratan kayo. Ay sabi niya, well, we we'll just have to help each other. Tapi sabi niya noon, nandyan si mga coffee, nandyan kami. Kaibigan ko lahat eh, except dalawang... Ako ayaw kong itong sentiment. Bakit ang Amerikano despite also or in spite also of giving the money? This is really the massacre of Bulo, Buddha. Ko. Look at the bodies there. Paano tayo mag... Paano mag... mag, 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 mag For as long as we stay with America, we will never have peace in that time. We might as well give it up. Give it an independent. Not only in Holo. And then si Ahmad Alonto, who was also appointed as a Mindanao chairman. Maranao, marami rin. Sa Landau. Pero walang moro nagsasalita nito ha. Ever since. No moral leader confronted able to able the Filipino. Bakit hindi natin? But they know. Mahiya lang sabihin. Alam nila lahat yan na matagalan to. For as long as you stay with the West. Ayaw mga militaryo. May isa hinahanap ko yung isang ano dito. Postcard pa. Ginawang postcard ang Nakatindig sa suso ng babae. Ganun ang baril. Ginawang postcard. Meron niya. Al alam niyo saan kung namin nakuha to Sa archives ng Amerika. Kaya yung mga special forces, they have to go. They have to go in Mindanao. Maraming mga puti doon. They have to go. Reiron ko yung foreign policy. Hindi ko lang masalita noon. Out of respect. Or I do not want a rift with America. But they have to go. Dito sa mga bang. Mas lalong iinit. Pagkakita ng Amerikano yan, patayin talaga yan. Kukunan ng ransom yan, patayin. Even if you're a black or a white American, basta Amerikano ka. Gaya yung sino yung isang sa, na ano, 